All right, welcome back to uh, episode 34 of Fallout 4 Realism. Yeah, so this is my third time trying to do this. Okay, so the issue you're going to start running into in this area of the map is it freezes all the time. So uh, yeah, off screen actually, so I had to go back to another save. I guess I overwrote my save again, uh, like I did a couple episodes ago. I just got lead belly uh, off screen. That was pretty much it. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of pissed about all this, but like I got, I, like I killed all these gunners and stuff, spoiler alert, um, and then got past all that safely, and then I was like hopping out a window and the game goes, I just froze, and so yeah, that's my story, and pisses me off. And then the other time I was fighting a bunch of mutants and had the last mutant, and then it clipped me through a freaking, uh, like metal pole and I couldn't move and so yeah and then the game froze again so things have been just lovely on this this front but we're level 41 we're getting up there kind of like mid game I'd say mid game ish we're not even close to 100% not even close because this whole DC area is going to take eons like I recorded last night I tried this two or three times like I said and then I just gave up I was like I just, I ain't got enough uh, desire to do the same thing three times. But I really want to get this railroad ballistic weave done. Um, so yeah, that's my story. But I think this time I'm just going to save scum. I have no shame anymore. I just don't care. Um, yeah, and I need to start finding like... Like opportunities to uh, like find sources of fresh water. Reason being is because uh, I had okay. What the hell? That's so much radiation. That's such bullshit. Anywho, I'm actually gonna go back here because I know there's a mutant. But what I was saying is that I need to find sources of fresh water because I had all those bottles and I made them into dirty water and then... And then anyways, I changed that. Anyways, I changed that uh, dirty water into fresh water and now I barely have any fresh water because it takes so much. So yeah, that's my story. Always want to take advantage of the rad stags. Uh, rad stag meat is very important, very, very valuable for me. So, anyways, I'm still gonna continue to like fight all the enemies I can and stuff. I'm not gonna you know, tiptoe around this shit just because I've been getting frozen and stuff. I don't give a shit about any of that. Yeah, you want this work? Come get this work. Come on. Yeah, get hit. That's nice. That thing could not aim for shit. Anyways. And, um, I might have said it before in past, uh, episodes. But I'm going to be coming back to all these areas, so like, don't fret in that regard. Um, okay, so I'm actually going to save scum. Bring y'all along for this ride this time. For when it, in 30, 35 court. I like how I was just like talking like I couldn't, uh, didn't know how to read. 30 fiv. So like, if it seems like I kind of know what's going to happen before it happens, it's probably because I totally do. Like these guys are settlers, and uh, and Minutemen. The hell? Yeah, and like. Okay, there we go. Um. Anyways, yeah. I know they're these guys are settlers and Minutemen because the first time I did it, I'll just tell you how this went down. I shot this guy in the face. I actually took his... No, I have a green rag hat. Never mind. Don't I? I don't know. It's like I'm a time traveler. Yeah, I do. And that green rag hat is going to be our future hat. Um, just spoiler alert. Anywho. 
That looked like a pretty high level raider too. Was it legendary? It's not. Just making sure. Shamrock Tap House. But anyways, um, this might be a longer episode too. It might be the longest episode because um, I'm pissed off and I'm trying to get this stuff, you know, accomplished because that's my goal. Uh, so yeah, I guess after each battle, I'll just be throwing down a quick save. And off screen, um, I guess I got to remember what I did and didn't say in the other uh, episodes. Anywho, I, uh, shoot, sorry, I'm trying to, anyways, off screen, I, uh, th I've handled my saves and whatnot, so, um, we shouldn't have too many issues with that. But yeah, I guess a boat somehow got blown over here, and then the Meyer Lurks like boats. That part doesn't really make sense to me. Where are they? Oh, there he is. Okay, scavers are actually pretty dangerous. Come on. Oh god, I thought that was a person. Did they run inside? Oh, they must have. Anyways, yeah, but I was thinking, I might have even dream this last night. I was thinking about my, uh, is this the Shamrock? No, it's the Harbor Master. I was thinking about my idea. Now, a realistic. Did that come from behind me? Anyways, a realistic idea of how I could do that old, sh uh, I might not even talk about it. It might have been one of the other episodes uh, that didn't release because the freezing. But anyways, well, Kind of what I was thinking about was like how I could do a sawed off shotgun run. Um, but I was thinking, what other gun is underutilized and or not that good? And I was thinking, uh oh, the laser musket. So I could actually do that. Um, that type of run. So it would be a laser musket sawed off shotgun run. That would be absolutely nuts be like the like a mad max type run oh my god oh okay so last time i was here okay so yeah that's a suicider last time i was here what actually happened is uh that thing ambushed me that uh rad scorpion which is what it tried to do there okay now we're carrying too much. Yeah, I didn't come close to killing me. Just spoiler alert. I'm dropping the Raider chest piece because I don't want it. Oh, shit. See, but something like this could kill me. Alright. Okay. Where is he? Savor me! Um, so that didn't happen last time. So I'm actually in a more dangerous situation than before. Sometimes if you bash the holes, you can get them to come out. I would like to not get cornered. I think that would be... Pretty good for me. He's... Oh, shit. There he is. Yeah? Just gotta draw him out. Lucky metal right leg. So, something like that I could use. It's completely actually useless in my opinion because... Uh, we, we don't use vats. What was that? Did y'all see that down there? What was that? Oh, it's just this shit.
These guys aren't that scary, I don't think. These particular ones. Um, reason for... Okay, I don't want him to explode. But reason for me saying that is because they don't really do, like, a ton of damage to me. Or not damage, sorry, but they don't have a ranged attack. What am I saying? I don't think I've ever been hit by one of them. Maybe in my life. So, I don't know. I just kind of mind my own business. So, and here... It's going to be something very valuable to us. And this is kind of going to be our first That's checkpoint it. of the episode. Our own little checkpoint, McGee. So I'm going to sleep for 10 hours. And this is our first cutoff. See, so yeah, last episode, I really wasn't that far in. I was just kind of pissed off because I was 45 minutes into the other one, and then I was just like, you know what? I ain't, I ain't got time for any of this stuff. And when you're out in the open, like, and you forget to quick save and stuff like that, like, you're just kind of screwed. And I will say, last time I was here, this guy wasn't dead. And I shot him, and he was legendary, and he did almost kill me. However, I'm alive. Just gotta trust me on that one. So I made it past here. And the first time I did it, there was actually... Okay, these are Minutemen this time. Integrated Swarm Bot, and we did like 12 damage to him. See, this is my... This is my argument for why I need to be able to use the uh, instigating pistols, because it still takes skill. Okay. Now, I will say... The last time I was here, I got ambushed by a roving uh, gunner party, and it had a commander with him. Okay, there's one. Okay, that has not gone that e Oh, shit. What the? Oh, fuck. Time's up. Here comes the fire. Oh, shit. Gotta go. <laughs> strafe. Strafe and dodge. Strafe and dodge. Okay. So that was a really close one. Um, clearly, I didn't see him there. But, like, I'm just gonna hide for a little bit. And if worse comes worse, I can swim. I don't think bullets penetrate water. And if they do, then I'm just kinda screwed. Um, but you, you're starting to see why. Turn up, you're dead. Okay, he's close by. Please don't come over here. Oh my god. Oh my god, fuck me. No, savor me. Damn it. Come on. Damn it. I can't hit this guy. Where is he? Okay. So, we're going to Jamaica Plain right now. I haven't even talked about it. Um, okay. It's actually one of the most dangerous um, like segments of the map. As you can see. I mean, I've almost died like twice, I think, in this episode already. Yeah. Oh, fuck me. What is that? What is that? Here's what I'm actually going to do. Oh my god. What the shit is that? Please say you tripped that. Did you trip it? Come on, bitch.
Yeah. You want this work? You can get this work. Yeah. He's gonna explode. What was that noise? Hello? Stressing. Okay, so I've almost died now three times. Scratch my previous statement. This will not be the last either. Alright, this is why we need sleek on our boots, or leggings, or whatever you want to call it. Who's fighting who? Nice. <laughs> it's like just mass chaos. Or were they fighting that rust devil? Yeah, boy. It's my greatest yeah boy yet. Okay. Seems like only one of us is alive. And I am the champion. Quick draw power fist. Let's see what that does. 25% less action points. So that's pretty much one of the worst I could get. To be quite frank. Okay. So this area to my left, I've actually already done in the previous episode. So if it seems like I know what I'm doing. Oh, I certainly do. Um, so there's going to be a bunch of gunners. This is actually horrible conditions for this battle as well. Um... You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to lay down a minefield. Uh, that might trip. Whatever. But i got to be mindful of this minefield. I don't really need these mines back either. So it's just in case things get hairy because things could get very hairy. I just need to find one guy just to aggro real quick, and then should be good. Okay. I don't want to be in the minefield, though, clearly. Now, last time, I think there might have been a guy. These guys were roving last time I saw them. Okay, so somebody's close by. It's a very dangerous commander in here as well. I don't think that's him either. This is an emergency message to all Commonwealth Army soldiers. Emergency protocol 17 Echo Charlie Niner are in effect. Oh shit. That's what I was afraid of. See that? Gotta go. Up into the minefield. I just gotta look for a silhouette. Damn, he saw me pretty quick. I was hoping I could... I, sh I should have shot through the flag. I love my country too much to do that, though. Right? Is that a guy? Oh, my God. We're in an absolute just war zone right now. The problem is, is once you flush him out, you don't really know where he is in this fog. So I am at significant risk. This is 
Watch this play. As soon as I see him, I'm shooting him once, and then I'm gonna try and get get him to chase me out of here. This checkpoint has been designated as a safe house in case of enemy invasion, and is currently stocked with additional food, water, and ammunition. This safe house is for military personnel only. Citizens, including non-military family members, will be turned away from matters of national safety. What the? Can I draw you out, please? I'm not trying to run into my own minefield. Good dead. All right, that's what I wanted. Did he run out? Oh my god. Jesus fuck. <laughs> Thank god I was behind that. Oh my god. <laughs> that was so scary. Oh my god, he's gonna chunk me. Alright, this is why I set up the minefield for this guy, basically. No way. That was easy. Damn it. Sorry, he, he hits like a truck, so I regret nothing. Um, now, obviously, I'm not going to pick up all the mines, but if I see him, then I'll do it. I'm actually doing pretty good at finding him. That'll do. Unless I, like, run into one. Which I just might down here. I should have put one in this little choke point. Um, part of the reason I had a tough time with this area last time, too. Okay, I wish I could shut that up. Part of the reason I had a tough time last time is because I didn't know this was here. I was running from mutants, and then I had, like, gunners on one side. Um, gunners on one side, and I don't think I got this last time. It doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, I did. God, I wish I could shut that guy up. Don't think I can pick this. I don't either. All right. Hey, but at least um, pretty soon here. Yeah, you won't hear him anymore. Oh, another nice thing. So we actually get uh, weapons workbenches here. And I just might have a, the right stuff. This is a nice little checkpoint area. Might have the need that. Take you. Switch over my pistols. Are you shitting me right now? Okay, so he's usually not out there. That's why I was so. Um, oblivious to that. I wish I could close that garage. That would be nice, but that's not happening. So, all right, let's actually see. Mm, need more ballistic fiber. I'm gonna just keep carrying it around them because it's actually a super good um, armor piece. Do I need oil for anything else? I should be chilling. I mean, instigating is like hard to pass up. Um, this is already hard enough as it is. I don't think that's like really that big of a deal. It'll probably make it more fun to watch too. But just in case y'all hate my idea. Um, 
just gonna drop all this down just in case I will put that there and leave leave y'all an option all right I'm gonna quick save again just in case because I have got freezes here before now last time it also wasn't um, okay Oh, I didn't need that. It also wasn't so foggy, so I'm actually going to have to get close to these guys. There's a suicider, I believe, in the left house. I think that's where he's guaranteed to be. So I'm going to mosey on over there. Okay. Little soldier. Hmm. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to get closer. And obviously stealth boys are allowed because like if this was real, you'd be able to use a stealth boy. It's just very dangerous. You know, another day. It's a fight for another day. Oh wait, I don't need this. Did I really put away the wrong one? I'm an idiot. How bad would that have been? Oh my god. All I have is like a regular 10 millimeter uh, pistol. That's basically all I have. Such an idiot. I'm sure y'all are watching like, uh, what? Now imagine it's gone and I like quick saved right before. Nice. <laughs> Investigating. <laughs> That's what I read it at first. All right, now we'll get to see how deadly this thing is. But the thing is, it's a pretty weak weapon as all as is. And in this game, as you scale, you don't get like the enemies just get harder and harder, like more spongy. Um, they kind of mess that up. They don't really scale the right way. They they get more. Uh, powerful and you c there's no way to increase your damage any further but past like bloody mass and all those types of perks so it is what it is at that point I don't even remember what we're coming here for I know we're going for the railroad but like our literal reason I'm just not so sure about what I am so sure about is I'm so sure that I wish uh, we weren't going to a ghoul infested area with heavy fog. What in the shit? I was in danger just now. What the hell is that? Hello. Oh shit. What am I in danger from? Okay. Very nice. That's what I'm sure of. So let's level up. Leveling up with James. Um, I'm actually going to do Bloody Mess because Bloody Mess is sick. Alright, we're supposed to go a little bit smoother than that. If you can't tell. So infested would be an absolute understatement when it comes to this place. This place is extremely dangerous. Guess I just go house by house. I think that's the right idea. Wishing I had sleek armor the whole way through. Hopefully we'll find another armor workbench. Um, if we do. Oh fuck, a reaver. Okay. So that's what I'm usually afraid of right there. Is a reaver like that. 
seeing me at close quarters. Okay, I think sleek armor would be sick nasty, but we don't. Pretty useless bobby pin at this point. A little bit of chip experience. But yeah, I hope y'all are enjoying the series. I'm having a fun time with it. It's uh, It's been a good time for me. So that's boarded up. Sorry. As always, if I get quiet. If I get quiet, it's probably... Ooh. See, that would be good, but it's just too low level. So you take your powered leg and you get out of here. Shoo. We're going to be rolling in the, uh, in the bread here in a little bit. That's why they call me Sneak Sneaky Deekerson. Little Sneaky Deek. Uh, I didn't need that ammo, but that's okay. It's perfectly fine. Oh my god, I saw his little dress in the wind. I was like, great. Okay, so we got a bunch of stuff to read now. Um, something torn. Let's see, I'll be able to see it. Okay. I think we've seen this already. Oh, we haven't. Come see the fa fabulous treasure of the Jamaica Plain. Ken's invitation. Hey, Ken. It's Carl. You two still looking for a score? I got a lead for you. You know Sal? Ex-gunner? She's after the treasures of Jamaica Plain. Biggest haul in the Commonwealth if you can get past the ghouls. I know you and Tanya have the skills. This could be big. You in? That's, uh, I suppose they... So I suppose they decided to join. Okay, so now I'm in caution in the middle of the city. And that's where the danger comes from. think any of the others are going to find us over here. Not that we're like super sneaky, but super hidden, I mean. But just from what the sneak logo is telling me, I think we're chilling. Yeah, and part of the thing with like bending the rules is like as the, the um, series evolves, you kind of figure out what makes sense and what doesn't. You know what I'm saying? Like, not all the rules of, like, I don't know. Like, the one about the weapons, I mean, it could get pretty monotonous after a while, if you're not careful. If I could, uh, use Sleek, that would be great. Carl's Log. I'm an idiot. I was going the wrong way. All right, Carl, what do you got? He's part of the group, I guess. You 
You know, I might as well put on Find the Treasures of Jamaica Plain as well. Bunch of goodies. Alright, enough sneaking. I'm kind of... I'm kind of tell a lot of the times when... Oh, wow. Oh, fuck me. Get blasted. I don't see uh, legendary knuckles a lot, but the nocturnal knuckles, that sounds cool at least. I mean, it's not good at all, but it sounds cool. So that's fun. Now, I have a weird memory about this place. I don't think you can get in through the front. Yeah, you can't. Okay, that's right, you go across here. So his pipe pistol and his shotgun shells next to him. Looks like he just needed to figure out, you know, what exactly goes where. It's a tough concept, though. Yeah, die. A lot of legendary enemies, though, huh? Oh, I thought I saw some Abraxo somewhere. Unyielding. Hmm. It's not bad, um, but I think ours is just a ton better. Yeah. So something like that is allowed as well because it's so niche. Like um, I know I've said niche like six hundred times, but it's just the truth. It's what makes sense to me. How do I get in there? So I could do that, but I'm not gonna. Don't kick me out. Okay. I thought it was gonna kick me out into the uh, other way. Anyways, I'll go up before I go down because we're not gonna be able to get back up here. A little pipe weapon. Yeah, I just wouldn't come here with pipe weaponry if I were y'all. Nope. This is like a place I would hold up at. Up here, break out the stairs. Have a ladder. These zombies can't get to you. That's what they are too, they're just zombies. Glorified zombies. That's exactly what this guy did. Hello. Silver hands note. Okay, let's see what he has to say. Yeah, I know this is a little. Ah, it's not that slow of an episode. We fought a lot of stuff, but. Manifest said it was a Type V laser defense grid, practically military grid. Whatever's down in the security is the real deal. Should be easy enough to let the others in and then reactivate the system with the turrets to deal with them. <laughs> no need to get my hands dirty. Lovely. Really nice, man. Really nice. Dang, we're already halfway to the next level, too. We're flying through these levels. Getting our food back. We're killing it. Look at us go. Look at us. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Okay. Motherfucker. 
motherfuckers hit like trucks. Oh, that's because there's a reaver. It's kind of dangerous just running around like that. I officially almost have more. 50 cal ammo. Alright. Officially in danger. Literally. I didn't need the shotgun shells, they're heavy. Okay, we're chilling again. I know I'm taking this area like a little slower than, than I normally would, but it's kind of a dangerous area. By can't kind, I mean it's like totally dangerous. Help wanted. Hosogen, okay. Actually, that was one of the, pl I don't know, I, maybe we didn't pass it. It might have been the other time I played. That's on me. But, um, yeah, we'll go there eventually. We're going everywhere, so we'll see that eventually. Do need more 10 millimeters, so why don't I mix it up with... Ah, shit. Shit. Where is he? Did he fall down? Alright, how about instead, I run out here and wait for him to come to me, since he just did half my health. Okay, Mr. Kick me in the teeth. I think this is a good as time as ever to use my handy dandy rat away and that weighs a pound when I just eat two of those I'll get rid of my radiation my health and my hunger just a beautiful concoction okay I shot him down here got it golly Oh, I need to clear the enemy still. Just a terrifying area. So I suppose I haven't cleared this area out yet. I'm not sure how that's even freaking possible, considering... <clears throat> considering I fought, like, the whole freaking town. <sighs> Stress levels... Hi. Got it. Love to see that. What am I supposed to do here again? Okay, secure. And this is like gotta be the hardest one. Nice clear. God level plays. Not like it was all that hard. Just gotta hit your shots. I'm gonna close that. I'll make it a little more difficult for them to get through. Ooh, military grade duct tape. Things we love to see. Things we absolutely love to see. Okay, I'm gonna go there after I go up. So I think up is a good way to go. Wow. That's actually really cool. I'm gonna keep that as well. Um, reason being is because I don't, I've never seen that before and it seems cool. Let's 
Sal's hollow tape. So is any of this better than what I have? Not at all. This one is. What's my left leg? Mm. Yeah, except it does poison, so. Yeah, so I don't. I don't really care. So yeah. Sorry if y'all hear noise in the background. Um, okay, have I cleared everything yet? Let's go see if that was it. We still got all this. This is like so many enemies. That might be it now. Okay. I actually thought there'd be one in there. I've been in here. I haven't gone right and I haven't gone to the diner. I started to look that, like, through there of the diner. Um, and then some of these guys blew up the diner area. That's why I was saying is, like, sometimes these... You want to be careful with these uh, diner-type areas because they can be pretty dangerous. Um, which is, like, baby traps and whatnot. That's about it, though. I don't know if I've seen anywhere to sleep here either, which is kind of odd. Let's see if I can finally take advantage of doing this. Okay. I have to build defenses for real. Fine. Now what? Okay, report back to Pam. Okay, so yeah, so that's gonna be it for this episode. Next episode, I'll go through Jamaica Plain and then report back to Pam, because um, we're almost there with the end of this. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Actually, let's level up first. Now nah, I'll do that next episode. All right, peace. <laughs>